How did you think that was a good idea? What do you mean, Doc? I just single-handedly completed this mission. No help from you whatsoever, by the way. Just sitting there thinking all the time. Well, I'm doing, and we doing good, baby. Can you not see that we are currently plummeting toward our might at horrific speeds with no assistance at all? You didn't solve anything, you idiot! Totally did, Jim. The hijacker scatters your love life, and another innocent helicopter was rescued from his dirty, stinking, corrupted, hijacking hands. I'm a goddamn hero! The mission, since I might as well remind you why you're going to die soon, was to secure that state-of-the-art helicopter up there and the dastardly hijacking villain that had a lucrative bounty on his head alive and not on fire! Dastardly hijacking villain? Are those the words that just came out of your mouth? Jesus, Jib. What, did the dude have a damsel in distress tied up to train tracks somewhere? Well, was he, was he twirling his evil pointy mustache before I decked his ass into the fuse box? How do you even know the jerk off's dead, huh? I'm gonna start calling you Dr. Assumption from now on. First name's Ass, last name's Umption. What a stupid name that is! Oh lord, why are my last moments arguing with this moron? What did I do? I didn't even hit him that hard, Doc. He could totally still be up there right now. I mean, it, we lived, didn't we? For now, but not for long, imbecile! In case you're actually too stupid to realize the incoming ground that we are rapidly descending into! Honestly, at this rate, your absolute lack of awareness does not even surprise me! Nothing can surprise me anymore! Ah, Christ! Get it off! Get it off! Oh, oh, shit. That must be a chunk of the propeller or something. Yeah, gotta watch out for that, Doc. Focus up. Still burning chopper up there, man. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, why? You didn't get any shrapnel in your eye, did you? Well, hopefully it's at least in your good eye, so you can get a normal damn pair of glasses. F pretentious ass. A monocle in 2024, dude. Seriously? That... What's the corpse? Of the terrorist! Believe it or not! He did not survive this ordeal! And guess what, dude guy? Neither will we! Nah, that was, are you sh that wasn't him, bro. Come on, don't be so dramatic. What? I could literally smell his rotting rigor mortis wafting off his plunging corpse! I was air spooning that poor bastard for Christ's sake! It's his ear! Oh, for I even have his damn left ear, dude guy! I'm not Norman Reedus! I don't just keep these on me! Man, you don't know that's his ear. For all we know, that could be your ear. Oh my god. Ow. Listen to me, you mentally discombobulated waste of a social security number! If you don't figure out a way to get us out of this mess, I will kill you before we hit the Earth! Seriously! Why didn't you even think to bring a damn parachute? Oh yeah, and how are you gonna kill me, huh? Well, are you gonna shove your dumb stupid hat down my throat till I suffocate? Got a syringe of mercury on you, just waiting, huh? You gonna poison me, Doc? Well, are you gonna... You you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna aggressively spank my bottom until it turns into a red delicious apple, and I learn to behave? You don't have the balls! Whoa, dude, chill. Chill out. What the f You think I won't, huh? You think this doctor only saves lives, eh? What the f***, Doc? Could you play into the bougie blue blood stereotype enough, my guy? A sword cane? Seriously? You give me shit for not having a f***ing parachute on me at all times, but you had room to pack a stupid-ass sword cane? I sure as f*** would have been helpful up there, now wouldn't it? But... Where exactly are you keeping that, by the way? It would have been helpful if you didn't resort to being a lunatic to solve every one of our damn problems! I'm lucky to even still have this sword cane on me! <laughs> damn it all! <sighs> My last moments couldn't get any worse. Well, grand, now I'm blind. Whoa, seriously? No way. Can you read Braille? Ah, dude, this is so much f***ing fun! We should totally go skydiving more often, huh, Doc? Ah, dude, this is the life. I am never setting foot in an aircraft with you again! Unfortunately, not even just because I don't want to, either! Man, you are such a buzzkill sometimes. Can you just take a minute to enjoy the moment? Oh, shut up! Ironically and cruelly. Right, damn it. Seeing how this seems to be my final moments, I... I might as well enjoy them. I mean, hey, at least I have my trusty hat still. 
We've been through so much, I'd, I'd be nothing without it. Ah, <sighs> and now I die as nothing. Ugh, you're bald? Ew. All right, I've had about enough. Let's bounce. Time to bust out this parachute ski. Wow, good one. Yes, it's so handy, dude guy. Yes, the parachute, of course. The parachute that I've been asking for this entire time, yes. I suppose we could use that, I'm sure. If you conveniently remembered to actually pack it inside those black holes you call pockets and were just messing with me. Yes, sir. Wait. You actually had? Why? Why didn't you say anything until right now? I didn't really get a chance to, Doc, especially when you whipped out the sword cane, threatening my life and shit. Kind of threw me for a loop there, Chief. Besides, I said from the get-go, right off the bat, it's no big deal. It's not my fault. You don't fucking listen. All right, now just try to, I don't know, I don't know, fucking doggy paddle, air swim over to me, and then I'll pop this baby out, and we can glide to the nearest bar ski and party till our eyes bleed, boy! Woo! You absolute, colossal, walking f***ing aneurysm! You are so lucky you pulled that out in time, otherwise I'd have hunt your soul down in the afterlife and absolutely demolished the planet! Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, Doc, look out! Ah, yeah, he's probably gonna be mad at me. That's not bad. going. Almost regrettably, I am indeed still alive. Yeah, good going, by the way. How'd you even survive that impact? That was an entire building colliding with your dumb, gross, balding, gross-ass, super bald-ass, gross scalp. God, you're bald. Well, on the topic of gross, I had help breaking my fall. From an old friend. Perhaps you recognize him. I see. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's nasty. Very happy that happened to you and not me, man. Thanks for taking one for the team, Jibberoonie. Drop dead, dude guy. Hey, uh, real talk though, Doc, listen. About all that stuff up there. I know you went through a lot, and I just wanted to say... I'm really sorry, man. I don't actually think you're bald. I, I don't know why I said that. And even if you were, I would totally accept you just the way you are. Follically challenged or not, you know? You're still the same old Doc to me, man. Same old... I mean, it's gonna take some getting used to. I'm not gonna lie. Well, well, would you look at that? Ah, you know, I suppose, dude guy, that, as they say, all's well that ends. Oh, see, yep, there it is. Remember, I mentioned the propeller earlier. I knew it was coming. Focus up, I said, man. Come on, Doc. God, no one freaking listens to me. fucked up about you? You sit there with a snide mark every single time I have something informative to say. You know what's wrong with you? You don't actually have anything informative to say!